Hey, what's up? Alan Robertson here. Have you ever found yourself wanting to maximize the volume of something you've recorded on your phone or could be in the studio as well or, or any recording sound file or source and you want to maximize that, master it, don't know where to do it and maybe only have Audacity. This is a quick foray into how to do it in Audacity. It's a really limited tool, but you can kind of do a basic mastering on this. Feeling a bit sad right now because I just spent an hour going over like really demonstrating how compression works. I thought it was an awesome little video I made for an hour and then I realized that for some reason, like the recording dropped. So all of that was completely went off into the abyss of nowhereness. But um, this is for a friend of mine here doing a video on how to compress and master with Audacity particularly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over the our goal number one is figure out where, how loud is the loudest peak in my song. So I've got a song here, it's got quiet parts. Like this. And then you can see the higher peaks here are like the... Louder. So basically I need to figure out where the loudest part of the song is and I'm gonna do this with decibels. So... This is the louder part of the song here. I'm going to right click. Basically the sound scale here in decibels, where I right click on it will affect where I'm zooming in. So if I right click right here, then it's gonna zoom into this part of the sound, the, the waveform. If I click higher up like here, it's gonna zoom into this part of the waveform here. So I wanna basically look up near where the peaks are. So up near the top. So I click up near the zero and I'm gonna go zoom in. And see, I have a more accurate view of the very top here. And I'm going to zoom in again. And it looks like this right here is maybe the loudest point in the track. Zoom in again. Zoom in again. Okay, so the peaks are up near like negative three ish. This is decibels. Quick definition of decibel. They're a, a unit of measure for sound volume, sound intensity. The zero here is basically, it's what's called bandwidth headroom. Bandwidth or headroom. Headroom being, actually sorry, bandwidth is the maximum amount of sound that your digital space can hold. And if you go above that, it's gonna start sounding like garbage, like get all crackly and nasty. And headroom is how much room do you have between your, your high peaks and your your clip point, your zero. So right now we have four decibels approximately of headroom between this little clip or this little peak that's showing here and the zero clip point. The human ear's response to sound level is roughly logarithmic based on powers of ten. At least the the decibel scale reflects that. An increase of three decibels doubles the sound intensity. And it's saying that, but a 10 decibel increase is required before a sound is perceived to be twice as loud to a human, to a man, woman. So that's a little bit about decibels. So just close that. So anyway, now that we've identified that we're at about negative three for the peaks here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the zoom. I'm gonna select everything. So we're keeping in mind negative three is the, the peak. And we're gonna to go to effects and we're gonna to go to limiter. Normally if I were really doing a high quality mastering process on this, I would first do a compressor, but the compressor is so limited in its attack and response time and audacity that I'm going to just be hitting it with a limiter, which is normally the last step in mastering. And then I know that my peaks are at negative three and normally I will do three to five decibels depending on like what kind of music it is. If it's like classical or something really soft then I'd wanna go gentler. Otherwise you'll hear the compressor working and it sounds a little unnatural. So I'll go three to five decibels lower with the limit than, than our peak. So we were at negative three. In this case, this is kind of an upbeat song. It can handle a little bit of a, a little bit more compression. So I'm gonna add negative five and negative three. So I'll go to negative eight. And actually, okay, my gut system is telling me that I'll actually go to negative seven. So 
I'm only like compressing this by four decibels, the peaks. What I mean by that is our peak was negative three, right? And then I go four decibels lower with the, the limiting and that's should be a, a happy medium. So in my other video, which didn't get recorded actually, apparently I went over what all these things mean, but you can just leave these settings as they are. And instead of having to normalize the track after, just leave apply makeup gain on and it will automatically normalize for you. So here we go, I've selected the whole track. I'm hitting okay, it's gonna calculate. And basically it will have squished the, ah, it's too bad we're in, let's see. Zoom in, zoom in. Okay, so here's prior to the little limiter tool. Let's do it again here, uh, limiter. And you, you'll get to see that basically the quieter stuff remains pretty similar in volume and the louder stuff gets squished down. Let's do this. Okay. Of course it's make having automatically doing makeup gain for us. So, okay, let's to illustrate this point, I'm gonna not have it do makeup gain. So basically it's gonna squish the loud stuff and leave the quieter stuff. And it seems to have kind of affected everything. Interesting. Uh, yeah, interesting. I'm feeling a bit sad about the limitations with Audacity, but uh, you know, here we are, so that's fine. So anyway, these are my settings that I'd go with. I'd hit OK, apply the makeup gain, then you don't need to normalize it after. And then, yeah, you've got a fairly well-mastered track at this point, at least basically for your needs. Let's just do a normalize process on it and see if it does anything. Yeah, we did get a tiny bit more volume out of it by normalizing it, but anyway, you'd be pretty good anyway as you as you are there with just the limiting process. So then you can go and export your track and you should be on your way. Thanks for watching. I feel sad that I wasn't able to convey the whole compression video to you due to a tech failure, but uh, hopefully this is of something, some use to you. So thanks a lot. Ciao for now.